freeze. The C4 in strut B has been disposed of. The wall containing the transformer panel was set to blow. Well done. It looks like there are no more bombs in that strut. Now, head for the other struts. Freeze! Huh? Don't kill me!
This is right. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal right. I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm going to tell Kliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. One more bomb diffused. There was one I managed to find only because I took a good look in first person view. You should try it too. Jack, do you need to save? I looked into Mr. Peter Stillman's file. Full name is Peter Stillman, known as Peg Leg Peter. He is a legendary bomb disposal technician. He is also a longtime instructor at the Naval School Explosive Ordnance Disposal and a consultant for the NYPD Bomb Squad. But five years ago, he lost his leg in an accident. And since then, he hung up his gloves to focus on being a lecturer. He was called back into service because, as he said, he is the only explosive specialist who can stop Fat Man. Although no longer an active consultant, he is still without a doubt the number one guy when it comes to disarming explosives. He should be very helpful to you.
This is Raiden. I just finished disposing of the C4 in strut F. Found explosives on B1. You're taking too much time. You should work a little faster. There's no time, Raiden. I've got my hands full here, so it doesn't look like I can help you. It's in your hands. Well done. It looks like there are no more bombs in that strut. Now, head for the other struts. Careful, there are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution.
Jack, do you remember the day we met? I'm kind of busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There were all these tourists around you, in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Jack, do you need to save? Jack, it must be so nerve-wracking to defuse a bomb. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, that was a stupid thing to say. Sorry. That's all right. It's just that I've never been trained in this stuff. You okay? Are you feeling well? I almost threw up a few times. Oh, Jack. But I'm okay. It's not like I'm in this alone. Oh, yeah, that's true. What do you think about when you're diffusing those things? I don't think so much as remember. And I know that I need to resist that and keep my mind blank. I can't let myself be overwhelmed by the fear. So, am I a part of what you try not to remember? <laughs> I was just kidding. But I guess this isn't a good time for that. No, it is. And I do think about you. I'm trying to remember what's so special about April 30th. Any success? No, not yet. You need to stay alive so you can. Okay, that's a deal. Who's there? Nothing here. I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze!
You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. A female soldier, Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. <laughs> 